A designer says, sometimes I find really good artworks on Pinterest, but I'm unable to implement something like that in web design. Any advice for that? So you find a website where you like a hero section, but you're not really sure how to convert it to your brand. Let's take this section, for example. You really like the layout, the colors, the text, all of that, but you don't want to just copy it onto your brand. First of all, it's stealing. Second of all, it doesn't really fit your brand. So how do you convert this or something in this to your brand? We need something in the middle to be able to convert it. And something like this is the answer to that. This is not a mood board and it is not a stylescape. A mood board is taking other inspirations from websites and putting them into a board and using them as inspiration. A stylescape is taking them one step further and you're actually photoshopping and editing those images. This is not either of those. And the main difference is that everything on this board here is 100% owned by me and I can use it however I wish. It's original work. So I could essentially take any of these icons, copy them and put them in into my design or my website and I wouldn't have to worry about stealing or plagiarizing or copyright or anything like that. So we're gonna do just that. We're gonna take this layout, we're gonna take some inspiration from it, we're gonna put it through our brand conversion and we are gonna design a new hero section for our website. So let's start with the layout and the copy. Now that we have a basic layout, let's move on to the colors and graphics. So we have our basic layout and our color set up. Let's go back to the inspiration design that we're looking at. Now, this has a couple things. It has this line behind it, which I kind of want to do something similar. So I'm essentially going to look through my board here and see if there's anything that I can use that will fit something like this. But again, I'm not just going to copy it. Now I do have these textures up here, with the plus symbols. So I'm thinking I might use something like that. If I need to add something to my brand, I will. But if I were to take this line right here with the gradient, and plop it in here with my red and black and gray colors, it would look kind of out of place and out of brand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take something from my brand, specifically these plus textures, and I'm going to create something that I like out of that. There we go. We now have a mostly finished layout design. Now I think this is the key here. If you were to put the original inspiration image side by side, Nobody's gonna be like, oh, you totally stole that, right? Nobody would say that because it's changed enough to the point where it's really kind of unrecognizable that we even took inspiration from the original image. And I think that is the key here. I don't know, legally speaking, exactly where that line is, but just based on experience and based on what I hear from other designers, I think that's reasonable to say. If you think about Star Wars, George Lucas did not come up with Star Wars just out of thin air. He watched watched a show called Flash Gordon. I've never seen it personally, but he used that show as his inspiration to create Star Wars, and he created from that one of the most successful movie franchises in the world, and very few people, if any, will blame him for copying a show like Flash Gordon. Um, you could even offer this as a service, so hopefully this video helps. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.